I was reading the front page of the Biggleswick Times the other day, and uh, sorry to say I haven't got a copy of it with me, but it was fascinating read. You know Biggleswick, of course, it's that lovely town that's nestled between Goodfordshire and Bestham, the beautiful counties where you can go for something completely different, a different way of life, a different take on things. The people of Biggleswick seem to be those sort of people that I would love to live among. After all, in the, uh, the front page of the Biggleswick Times, they were saying no. They were saying no to quite a lot of things that seem to be being uh, foisted upon them. And I made a list, actually. I made a list of all those things that the, big, the Biggleswick people were rather pleased not to have, uh, even though they were trying, uh, the council and the government and what have you, were trying to sort of thrust on them. So here we go. Let's have a little look at this little list. It's actually quite a long list, but never mind. We'll go through it. Mass surveillance and facial recognition. That seemed to be being pushed all over with cameras in the supermarkets, with the police doing vans and, and checking people as they walk about the streets. The people of Biggleswick said no, they don't want that. Uh, solar panels, batteries, pylons on all the farmland, eating up the agricultural land. Um, this does seem to be uh, something that's going across the country at the moment, all over the place. Um, they want to keep their farmland. So the people of Biggleswick said no. They got together, they had a meeting, they said, you know what, shall we have this? No, is what they said. Fluoride in the water. They were testing the water and they saw that there were all sorts of things in the water. Uh, and one of the main concerns, of course, was fluoride that seems to be being pushed in everybody's direction. They realised it wasn't very healthy and the people of Biggleswick said no. They didn't want any of that. Um, also, restricted cash at the bank. They wanted to be able to take out their money whenever they damn well pleased. They wanted to take it out in cash so that they could go shopping in all the beautiful shops that are in Biggleswick. And they didn't want anybody else necessarily to know their private affairs and what they've been buying. They wanted to be able to buy as much as they like. And the traders, of course, the traders wanted to be able to take as much of that cash and then put it into the bank without any restrictions. And so these restrictions that have been coming on across the banks up and down the UK, um, well, the people of Biggleswick Week, they said no. We don't want that, thank you very much. Uh, digital IDs. Yes, there's another thing that the banks are trying to sort of do. They're closing accounts if you, uh, if you refuse to have a biometric digital ID associated with the account. Uh, the people of Biggleswick are not keen on digital IDs. They are much happier if they are back in the old analogue world with being able to say, hello there, my name's Brian, take it or leave it. Uh, so the people of Biggleswick to digital IDs said no. No, thank you. Uh, supermarkets full of nutrient-free food, deplete of vitamins, and um, all this sort of nonsense of pretending to be buying stuff from farms when actually they're only big brand names made in a factory and high industrialization. The people of Biggleswick like to be healthy. They like to eat food that is lo locally produced and in season and is full of all the goodness of minerals and vitamins. And so to the supermarkets, they've started to say, no, 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 thank you. Uh, corporate buyouts of the local shops. They're not very keen on all this sort of takeover going on, where something like a little supermarket is then suddenly take, taken over, rebranded as one of the big names that we all know on everywhere, up and down the, the countryside. That sort of branding that it means that every shop town centre looks the same, same name, same everything, all very boring and ugly. Nope. Not bland for Biggleswick. They like their unique character of all their shops. They don't want these big corporate takeovers. So they've said, no, no thank you, don't want it. Uh, who would? Net zero policies that the uh, council seem to be adhering to. Well, of course, we know, we know that the Biggleswick people, uh, they weren't very happy with their council. So they, uh, they got rid of them and voted another council in. They weren't going to have these horrible 15 minute cities and all this nonsense that the councils uh, want to get in with their net zero policies. So they said, no. No, thank you. A corrupt policeman, 
judges, courts, councils, bailiffs, all those sort of people, they said, we're not having this corruption anymore. We want courts that actually represent the people and not the private bar guild. We want courts, that we want police that represent us. We want courts, police and judges that are fair and honest and uh, an integral part of our town. And we want a council that is made up of the people of the town, the general, ordinary, everyday people from all walks of life who can make decisions on all the various issues of the day. So to all the corruption, the people of Biggleswick said no. I don't blame them, to be honest with you. Heat pumps, having to replace all the gas heaters or get rid of your log burning stoves and things like that and have be forced to have heat pumps. No, 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 not for the people of Biggleswick. They said, oh, we can see where this is going. Thank you, no. Electric cars, uh, i.e. forced on you uh, so that you can't have diesel cars or petrol cars or any other sort of forms. You've got to have those EMF emitting electric cars with massive great big batteries which cause children in our far off, far flung countries to have to go down mining so that they can get all the components for those lithium batteries. No, no, the people at Biggleswick weren't very keen on that at all. They could see that that was an erroneous act and how mean to make children go down the mines and do all of that and pretend that it's green. No, thank you. They don't want it. Uh, the people of Biggerswick said no. Uh, woke transgender sexual teaching in schools, teaching four year olds how to masturbate and sending them home with a packet of tissues and saying that's your homework. No, thank you. Uh, the people of Biggerswick decided to strip out the uh, the education nonsense that the government are implying and uh, they're either homeschooling or they're providing their own teachers and setting up their own teaching hubs because the people of Biggleswick said no. They don't want that for their kids. Uh, hotels being full up of foreign people arriving in rubber boats. Mm, that seems very suspicious. Uh, they're not very keen on a, a huge number of just young men. Uh, they don't like, they don't mind foreigners coming in and having holidays and enjoying the wonders of a Biggleswick uh, experience. But all these strange people hidden uh, in hotels and protected by mysterious people with radios and gates and tabards and all of that. No, no, sorry, people of Biggleswick said no. Uh, 5G towers, no, they, they've been eradicated. We don't want any of that 5G towers radiating. Not unless it can be absolutely 100% proved that nobody is being hurt from it and there is a bigger advantage to what we've already got at the moment and that these are not some form of weapon system. No thank you, Biggerswick people said no. Uh, the council tax forced on them by something called legislation. Um, they don't want to be slaves. They don't mind um, contributing to the town. In fact, they love doing that. They love to come out and maybe paint the bridge or plant the flowers and look after the parks, help here, there and everywhere. But they don't want to be penalised and, and uh, some money set by government. They're the people of their own town. They know what they need. They want to be able to set and ask for contributions in their own inevitable and natural style. So to the council tax, I'm really sorry, but the people of Biggleswick said no. Uh, ugly buildings, the blanding of this country, the uglification of the whole world, of having to have what you might call urban type of town type, type buildings in their town centre, these mean buildings with tiny windows and no festoons, nothing elaborate on their buildings, cheap and cheerful, made from horrible in insignificant products that are not going to last very long that do a horrible job and just seem to make people feel down and uninspired. No, they don't want any of that. They want their buildings to be substantial, to be lovely, to be beautiful, to be aesthetic. None of this horrible, nasty blanding for them because they like people coming to Biggleswick and looking at their quaint, wonderful buildings the way it has always been. They don't want to just disappear into the urbanisation and industrialisation of this country. So, guess what? The people of Biggleswick said no. We don't want any of that. Uh, and going with that, these new builds, left, right and centre, filling up the agricultural land, which look more like concentration camps. No, thank you. We don't want any of that nonsense. We'll deal with our uh, building of houses and looking after them. And we won't push them into little tiny rabbit hutches, left, right and centre, all concentrated in one area, almost like some 15 minute city. No, thank you, said the people of Biggleswick. They said no. 
Uh, medical interventions forced on the children as they're growing up and forced on adults and all this sort of pharmaceutical stuff. Go here, go there, and uh, you must get the little white pills or these, uh, this fluid that is being injected into people. No, they, fair enough, the people of Biggleswick looked into all of this and thought, actually, do you know what, there are lots of herbs and there are lots of uh, natural remedies out there that can do far, far better than many of these things. They, they do like their immune system, they eat healthy, they think of farming, local farms, lots of them that are producing uh, good local food, seasonal, organically, or as near to organically as necessary. They don't want the pesticides and the insecticides, the fungicides and all of that. They want nice, healthy stuff. So they don't need all these medical interventions that uh, people are being given left, right and centre at different times of the year and at different age groups all over, which might affect their brains and, and make their children suffer from autism or ADHD or any of that sort of nonsense. No, 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 they want to be healthy. So they... The people of Biggleswick have uh, said no. And uh, on to that farming. Yes, as I said, lots of farms. They don't want monoculture. They want the insecticide. Uh, it's not the insecticide. They want the insects. They want the pollinators. They want the wildlife. They want the trees. They want the flowers. But they don't want flowers under some extraordinary uh, nonsense steward scheme. They want the flowers that they want to plant all over the place. They want the wildlife abundant, but they also want farmland and they want youngsters back on the land, looking after them, growing stuff so that they can have an abundant life. A life full of meaning, full of fun, full of thrills and spills, whatever it may be. They don't want monoculture and big swathes of the countryside depleted of any form of life. That's the people of Biggleswick. They are a canny lot, you know. They've been uh, studying all of this. And uh, yes, the Biggleswick Times, full of it, full of it uh, this week. I don't know if you can get yourself a copy. It's worth having a look. You see, they got themselves together and they looked at all these things that are being foisted on them, as I said at the beginning, and they just turned around and they said, I'm not really sure about all of this. I'm not sure that this is really good for our lives. We are living and breathing men and women here. We want to have fun. We want to enjoy ourselves. We want to work hard for our fellow man, but we want a community. We don't want to be rubbed out in some weird virtual landscape. Thank you very much, they said, but actually our answer is no.